now that we've talked about how to solve a two-step equation when there is one solution and a two-step equation when there is no solution, let's go over how to solve a two-step equation when there are infinite solutions. Now, infinite solutions means that our variable, the letter in our equation, is equal to any number, and there are unlimited possibilities of what that number could be. Let's take a look at how to solve one of these examples. We have for our equation, 25 minus a equals negative a plus 25. Notice on the left side, we have 25, our constant, which is just a number. And on the right side, we have 25, a constant on the right side. On the left, we also have negative a, a variable term. And on the right, we have negative a, a variable term. Let's approach this the same way that we would for another two-step equation with variable terms on both sides. We're going to start by trying to get the variable terms to the same side. Notice that that equal sign, remember that means that we have to do the opposite to both sides in order to move any terms over to the opposite side. So we have constants and variable terms on both sides of our equation, but we're only focusing on the variable term, that negative a. Since we have negative a, we know that the opposite would be addition. So we're gonna add a to both sides. It's the opposite to both sides of our equation. We know on the left, negative a plus a is gonna give us zero. Those cancel out. So we'll be left with 25 on the left. Bring down our equal sign. And on the right side, we still have negative a plus a, which cancels out to be zero. So we'll have 25 brought down on the right. Now our new statement is 25 equals 25. Notice our a's canceled out, just like they did when we had a two-step equation when there's no solution, right? The variable terms are still eliminated, but now our statement is 25 equals 25. That means we have a number equal to the same number on the right side. When we did no solution equations, we had a number not equal to a different number, but this time we have a number 25 equal to the same number 25 on the right. So this means that we have an infinite solutions. That's our answer for this one. If we were to plug in any value for a, so let's say we took two, then we'd have 25 minus two, which would give us 23 on the left. And on the right, we'd have negative two plus 25, which would also give us 23. So we'd have 23 equals 23, which is true. If we wanted to try that again, we could plug in three for a. So we'd have 25 minus 3, which would give us 22. And on the right, we'd have negative 3 plus 25, which would also give us 22. So we have 22 equals 22. Again, it's true. And we could go on and on with this. But instead of doing that, we just say that we have infinite solutions because the left equals the right. 25 equals 25. For a statement, we're still going to do a statement like this. There are blank because blank equals blank. We're not going to do the check because there's so many possibilities of what that answer could be. But you can always check it in your head to make sure it works. And we can write this statement to be there are infinite solutions and in our reasoning because 25 equals 25. That's our last step. So a number equals the same number. Let's take a look at the same example again, just in a slightly different way. We have 25 minus a equals negative a plus 25. Notice on the left, we have a positive 25. And on the right, we have a positive 25. On the left, we also have a negative a. And on the right, we have a negative a. So they're the same terms, same positives and negatives, which is important. But they're just in a different order. 25 comes first on the left, but it comes second on the right. So let's take that 25 on the left. And let's take that negative a on the left. Notice I kept that negative sign with the a because it came before the a. I'm just going to switch their places. But since they're on the same side, I don't have to do the opposite to both sides. I can just switch their order. I just have to keep the signs for the correct terms. So 25 has to be positive and a has to be negative. So I can rewrite my equation to be negative a plus 25 equals negative a plus 25. We notice that on the left, we have this expression equal to the same expression on the right negative a plus 25. It's on both sides. So that equal sign holds true. We know that the same on the left is equal to the same on the right. So from here, we don't even have to add 
a to both sides. We don't have to subtract 25 from both sides. We have infinite solutions. That's our answer. From here, we can just go right into our statement. So we saved ourselves a couple of steps. For a statement, we're still going to have the same thing, except the because part is going to be slightly different. We'll have there are infinite solutions because, and our new statement for reasoning is that negative a plus 25 equals the same expression on the right, negative a plus 25. And that's how we can solve a two-step equation when there are infinite solutions.